Welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you are new to my channel and stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. I've come out with some stinking cute new merchandise in different styles and colors. You can find the link to my merchandise in the description box below. So what do I have going on for you for today? Today, I'm gonna to be showing you what I do with these ceramic coasters that you can get at the Dollar Tree. I'm really excited about this DIY because it turned out stinking amazing. And this is a piece that I've wanted to do for some time and I'm just now getting around to doing it. So let's jump into it and let me show you what I have in mind for these Dollar Tree ceramic coasters. Everything that you need for this DIY, you can get from the Dollar Tree. I picked up 12 of these black and white Damarisk coasters, three boxes of the tumbling tower blocks. I'll also be using some of this decorative nautical rope, a two and a half by two and a half foot piece of cardboard. I'll also be using some of this black liquid shoe polish and some of Aileen's tacky glue. I'm gonna start this DIY off by taking the Aileen's Tacky Glue and I'm gonna spread it onto my cardboard. And I'm gonna do this because I'm gonna lay all 12 of my ceramic posters on top of this cardboard in rows of four, three long. I'm not cutting my cardboard down to a specific size because I feel like it's gonna be easier once I get to a certain point in this DIY. And I'll show you why in just a bit. When putting these coasters down, you wanna make sure that the pattern of each coaster, that they're all going in the same direction. Once I've got all 12 of my coasters glued down to the cardboard, I'm gonna take the tumbling tower blocks and I'm gonna frame my coasters with my blocks and I'm gonna do it two blocks wide all the way around my coasters. On two of the corners here, you can see that my blocks didn't line up perfectly. So I'm gonna trim up these blocks using this saw that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and I very easily sawed through these. It took just a minute or two to saw through these blocks. The wood is pretty soft and so it was really easy to cut through. And just that easily, they fit right into place. I felt like now was a good time to go ahead and cut all that excess cardboard off with my safety cutter using the wood blocks as a guide. I was able to get a nice clean cut on my cardboard and there was no real measuring needed. And you can see how doing it this way made it so much easier. My edges are clean and you can't even see the cardboard. I'm gonna add another two layers of blocks around these coasters just giving the edges a bit more height. Once I've got this completely framed up with my wood blocks, I'm gonna set this aside for just a couple of hours to really let it get good and dry. Once my blocks are good and dry, using my drill with a quarter inch drill bit, I'm gonna drill two holes, centering them on the short side of this. When drilling this, I'm not gonna drill all the way through the wood. I'm gonna drill about halfway through, leaving me with these two holes. And I'm gonna do this on both sides. And I'll be using this black liquid shoe polish to stain the wood. And I'm gonna do this by removing the foam from the shoe polish so I can easily use a brush to apply the shoe polish to the wood. When staining the wood, I wanted to be sure and use a paper towel to place along the bottom edge of this. So when I apply the shoe polish, any of the excess shoe polish that may drip down won't get onto the ceramic tiles because the ceramic tiles will absorb the shoe polish and it'll stain them. I'll be using Dollar Tree's decorative nautical rope 
for the handles of this serving tray. And again, using the black liquid shoe polish, I'm gonna use this to darken up the rope because I want it to blend in with the dark wood and the black in the tiles. And I'm gonna do this to about eight to 10 inches of the rope. I'm gonna set this aside and I'm gonna let it dry before I move on to the final step of this project. My rope is dry. I'm gonna take it and fold it in half and I'm gonna cut it to give me two equal sides. Then very simply using some hot glue, I'm gonna place some hot glue into the holes that I drilled and I'm gonna twist the rope into these holes, giving me two rope handles for this serving tray. And there you have it. These handles hold this well. This is a very heavy, durable serving tray. This really was such an easy DIY Dollar Tree serving tray and I love the outcome of it. I love the black and white tiles with that rustic wood finish on the outside along with the rope handles. It really gives it that rustic feel. Today's shout outs going out to CJ, Mama Puff's Place, Jean Horn, Liz M, Janet Podnett, Susie Batker, and Holly Nielsen. I gotta tell ya, I love the rustic feel of this serving tray. This serving tray can very easily be made to suit your decor by painting the wood. You could even paint the ceramic coasters if you wanted to. Dollar Tree has such a variety of coasters just by simply changing them out. You could get such a different look out of this serving tray. It is such a heavy, durable, sturdy tray. I love it and I am so glad that I made it and it is definitely a piece that I'm gonna be keeping in my room at the end of my bed on my chest. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 3,000 likes because those thumbs up really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.